Welcome back to making a, a crook in um, plywood. Now, the next job to do is to create a, a deep notch or slot to drop this uh, dog into and glue it. What we have done while we've uh, been off camera, done a lot of sanding, um, smoothing off, and the head's about ready for um, a bit of um, varnish. So what we've got to do now is we've attached the dog just temporarily with some um, plastic bands and that's just going to give us a position that we want. Now we're going to scribe around the base and that's going to be our guide for cutting the notch out. Again we're going to use the, uh, the Dremel or possibly the, the dental tool. Or you could use a, a chisel, some sharp, sharp chisels. So um, we'll start on this and come right back and show you as we progress. Right, so we've drawn our guidelines on there, and what we need to do now is remove material. I'm hoping I'm just going to rely on a couple of uh, bits. Nice square one, cylinder for cutting a straight line, and this little thing, which I'm hoping will remove quite a bit of material. Uh, we'll see how we go on on this ply. My favourite bits are broken, so we'll see how we go on with these. First thing I do is establish two lines. That's I'm going to work up to those lines, and um, we need to get the top end done now. We'll see if this will uh, do the job.
again we should be wearing a mask <laughs> but we're not doing today but so far that's the progress we've made I'm just going to switch off continue with this and we'll come back when we're finished Right, so we've worked on this for a few minutes you can see that the dog is part way in and uh, what normally happens is the markings you've made are normally not big enough so once we've got that bottom end in it needs to be all squared off in the bottom we just need to now just scribe around there again and once we've removed that material hopefully it'll be a decent fit and you can see now it's quite a deep notch uh, we'll rough the bottom of that up and once it's got uh, resin in there hopefully that's that dog's in there to uh, to stay now this has proved uh, very very useful very abrasive little tip and uh, not bad at all just clean it so they do get clogged up this is the same version that uh, same version as that just on a much smaller scale so I've worked up to the line with that one and now to get a nice square edge in the bottom we're going, we're going to go on to this character I'll just see if that fits. A wee tip with a wee tap with a hammer. Just wants a little bit more off, just a smidgen. Well, that's pretty good that's in there solid now and all we've got to do because the the base of the dog is fairly level and we've got a um, slight curve on here we'll take a little bit of material off here so it all blends in and then um, the dog can be painted all the uh, head will be varnished and then once that's dry we can glue everything together now it may not be obvious to, uh, to people why I use different devices. Well the problem is that um, the birds you want come in different shank sizes you see and um, not all your devices will take a combination of shanks so the dental um, drill takes my four small shanks this takes sort of a medium shank well it actually takes three, three sizes of shank this one but so I don't have to keep swapping around, I'd rather use the small ones on there medium and uh, very large on the, the Fordham it speeds, uh, speeds the job up so uh, what we're going to do now is just flatten this area off a bit See what that looks like.
one's a bit more off. You don't want to take too much off because when you get an oozing of uh, epoxy, you can always spread that out, that can become part of your base and it's going to be painted anyway so you can just paint over the, uh, the epoxy and everything will blend in nicely. Now I know a lot of people, uh, especially stick makers, um, don't like these attached dogs. I call them attached dogs. Most stick makers call them stuck on. They're not stuck on, uh, they're attached, they're jointed. And uh, my argument is the greatest carver that ever was, Grimling Gibbons, he used to bring a lot of different carvings together and attach them. And if it was good enough for him, it's good enough for me. And this, as I say, the reason I do this is because I've got a wooden stick or um, a hardwood stick. If you're going to carve a dog on it, uh, hardwood's going to break sometime or other along the grain. This is a solid material. Buffalo horn is actually compressed hair. Very, very tough stuff and um, that's going to hopefully stand the test of time. Uh, as long as we glue it in well, um, it should be okay. So there we go folks. We're uh, getting to the end of making this particular crook. Uh, we'll catch you again in, I believe it's part 12. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.